Here's the challenge ahead for the Wolverines this year, including a matchup with Marquette as they start off the slate in mid-November. You see a Virginia Tech team in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. It got better and better as last year went on. Texas, they go to UCLA as well. So a lot of challenges, as always, in the non-conference for Michigan. Happy to have Zach Irvin and Derek Walton here with us. And it was interesting in talking to Coach. Look, it's no secret as to what went on with you guys last year. I mean, there were a couple issues. Injuries were a huge part of it. And maybe hand-in-hand hand with that were some defensive struggles. He brought in Coach Donlin, who is a defensive specialist. Give us a sense of how that has changed things and, and the impact that Billy Donlin has made on this program. Yeah, I think Coach Dallin's had a huge impact on our team already. I mean, practice just started a couple of weeks ago. Just the intensity in our practice and how competitive they've been these first two weeks has been great for us. You know, we've got to keep that going forward. What about from your point of view, Derek? What's changed there? Of course, it's, uh, it's been a whirlwind of change. Uh, defense has been a point of emphasis. Um, we're doing a lot more than we did in the past, and um, I think it's going to do nothing but help us in the run long run. The other thing that, that's interesting in talking to Coach Beeline, for you in particular, is the change in your role mm -hmm. with Xavier Simpson. And so now you're a point guard first, but you're going to have some two-guard responsibilities as well. What's that transition been like for you in terms of mentality and, and excitement? Uh, of course, it's a change in mentality. I've always been the guy that's uh, tried to quarterback a team. Uh, but, of course, my teammates do a great job of letting me know that uh, it's okay if I you know, had to hunt a couple shots myself uh, just to make some plays for us uh, as a team. But, of course, my teammates do a great job of that. So, I, you know, I feel comfortable uh, doing a little dual, bit, dual role this year. Does it make it a little bit easier just knowing that there's that much pressure off you having to make plays, having to control tempo, control pace, make good decisions where you can play a little bit off the ball, give you a little more flexibility and freedom, and even open up some energy for the defensive end? Of course. Um, I remember last year exalting so much energy on both ends that sometimes I just didn't have none left to go in the, uh, the critical moments of the game. So uh, I'm looking forward to having a guy as good as Xavier to not only back me up, but uh, keep me tight and iron, sharp, sharpening iron in practice. So, uh, you know, I'm just excited and ready to go. Now, Zach, does the defensive focus almost in some way make you a more aggressive offensive team because teams that pick up the pace they pressure defensively they get up and down the floor and you guys are as good as any team in the country when you're getting up and down throwing the ball up the floor and taking early shots in transition yeah i couldn't agree more last year we played really well in transition mm -hmm. so as long as we're able to get stops this year and get out and go i think that'll make us a very dangerous and effective team so we just got to keep that going and just have that mindset that we have to get stops in order to play our game now, both of you have had enough experience in the Big Ten to understand how difficult it is just to get a win on the road. We all, we in some way glamorize it, how challenging it is to get a win on the road in this conference. But for you guys, you have the experience. You have a little more depth this year. You're going to be able to step back and, and take a, a, a different role this season. Mm -hmm. What gives you confidence that you still will reside in the upper tier of the Big Ten with this team this year? Um... Just, I just feel like me and Zach, just of course, as the leaders, just just know what it takes. It's just uh, we've been through the rigors and we've been on both sides of it. A really successful team, and a team that just hasn't done exactly what we wanted to do. So uh, I think we're gonna use that experience to our advantage. And I just think we're just supremely confident walking into this situation with uh, new faces uh, on the coaching staff and player-wise, and we're just excited and ready to go. How tough is that with with new coaches? Because I mean, we all understand that the face of the of the program, the system, is the head coaches, and there's certainly every decision is going to go through them. But the assistants are the guys you also deal with on an hourly basis. I mean, class checking. There's a lot that goes into coaching that people don't know about. How much of a of a challenge is it for you guys with new, two new assistants on staff? Yeah, it's a huge challenge for us, you know, uh, after the transfers that we had and the new coaches that have came on to staff. But I think the summer was a huge uh, help for us. You know, we got mm -hmm. to get acclimated and get to know each other. And, you know, they know us and we know them. So I think it's been good. You know, it's been good so far. And I know it's only going to get better as the year continues. I think everyone's chomping at the bit, yeah. though, to get out there and uh, play against someone else. Is there a way, in some way, do you bring some of the assistants up to speed with certain things, whether it's how to do a certain drill? I mean, you, you think of a newcomer coming into the program, you're going to pick them up, you're going to tell them to be in the right place. I mean, are you doing that at all with assistant coaches? Oh, of course. Uh, they ask us questions all the time. Uh, we just use different terminology. So uh, sometimes, you know, some stuff that Coach, Coach uh, Beeline says that they don't even understand. So, uh, you know, I just try to help them as much as possible. Um, you know, they're good people to us, and uh, we just want to, you know, help them bring them up to speed and, uh, you know, just get them all on the, on the court with us. Now, Michigan's one of those universities that football's so strong. 
but so is basketball. And I, I played at Penn State where really it was a football school and we tried to compete as much as we could on the basketball level. And that's what they're still doing. But for you guys with a football team having the success that they're having, how do you feel in trying to follow suit where you, know, you could, the sky's the limit for this team. Where do you end up falling? It's awesome. You know, we have a Michigan family at the University of Michigan. You know, it's always nice to see our brothers doing well on the football field. You know, they're having a great season so far. You know, that just that gets us excited as well. You know, the the atmosphere right now is at an all-time high. You know, everyone's excited to see what we're able to bring to the table, especially with us turning Jordan this year. Yep. So, you know, we can't get out. We can't wait to get out there and rock those nice uniforms. <laughs> In a way, it's going back. You know, you look back at the Fab Five. I know Jalen Rose was involved in the unveil but i mean what does it do for your program i mean just that the brand the jordan brand the greatest that ever played the game is on your chest uh of course it's uh, a little added pressure but uh it's good pressure of course um you know being able to rock the emblem of you know one of the greatest players if not the greatest player to ever play and i just have an old alumni come back it just it generates more excitement you know we uh feel a lot more tighter with those guys they, ex they share some of their experiences and uh we, like like you said we all are family so uh, we all want to see each other succeed and they give us tips and pointers whenever they can now did you hear that he said one of if not which leads me to believe that this generation may think there's somebody else out there. Yeah, I'm not sure who's better, but uh, there, there's, there's one guy <laughs> in Cleveland who's... Yeah, he's all right. He's, he's not, a, not a bad player. <laughs> hey, interesting, guys, we've talked a lot about the backcourt here. We haven't talked a whole lot about the frontcourt, and, and we were discussing with Coach Beeline that the center position is such an interesting one mm -hmm. for you guys. We saw the progress that Mark Dinell made. We've seen Mo have flashes here and there during his time how would you assess how those guys are playing here and, and how your front court is shaping up heading into the year yeah, like you said towards the end of the season last year i think our bigs are playing really well you know that's carried over to how the summer went you know now in the preseason getting ready for the season i mean our practice has been very competitive especially in the front court which is awesome i mean like Derek said earlier iron sharpens iron and um, they're all very competitive, and they got a chip on their shoulder. So it should be good to have a, a nice depth in rotation. How about from your point of view, Derek? What have you seen from the front court? Uh, of course, uh, those guys love to compete, and um, you know we make jokes about it. But you know, every single day for those guys is a grind. Like they don't have days off; they can't really take too many breaks. So uh, they're they're pushing each other to the limit, and I know for a fact it's only going to make those guys a lot better. And um, you know, personally, I think. Uh, you know, Mo's gonna have a you know a better year last than last year because uh, it just after you get one year under your belt, you know, you just you know we know what to expect, and uh, I just feel like last year a lot was just kind of he just throwing it to the fire, but uh, he has a great attitude about some things, and you know that's all we can ask for. In your mind, what's the biggest key for you guys to be in the elite level of the Big Ten? I mean, I think there's this sense that you guys have an opportunity mm -hmm. to be there, but not necessarily at the very top in terms of who people are picking how do you become one of those teams at the end of the season you need to do what um i think personally it's just we need to stay you know confident in ourselves um you know know that we are good are just as good as any team in the country and um you know we need to play like it in every moment uh that it presents itself so uh you know it's a lot of things that can happen uh you know that, that will make us you know put us over the hump but uh, mostly I just think it's just, you know, us playing confidence, staying together, and, uh, you know, just always believing in each other. Derek Walton, Zach Irvin, good to talk to both of you guys, and best of luck this year. Thank you. Thank you. Michigan.